Most people experience financial stress as a result of credit card debt. Spending now and paying later is a common trap for many people. What if I told you that you can make money using your credit cards? The truth is that many people manage to get by pretty well on credit cards each year. You can now generate some extra cash using credit card hacks. Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Interest charges are inevitable for those who carry a large credit card balance. Therefore, the credit card company benefits from your interest and fees while you suffer further financial losses. By using credit cards to your advantage, you can eliminate credit card effectively. You won't become wealthy by carrying your card everywhere you go. In smart use, however, credit cards can help you cover costs with cash. Having paid off your debt will allow you to buy the new flat screen TV or take a vacation. In today's video, we discuss a few ways to make money with your credit cards. Maximizing rewards with credit cards One of the most popular credit card hacks is to maximize bonuses, rewards, and cashbacks. A combination of different schools of thought is the best way to achieve this. When selecting strategy, choose one that fits your needs, card usage, and habits. 1. Use only one credit card Since you are using only one credit card, it's easier than other reward hacks. Keeping your debt in check is as simple as setting up automatic payments and spending only what you can afford. This is basically free money if you are using a cashback rewards card. Then, you can set up automatic pay payments, so you pay the charges in full and on time every month. Using this method will allow you to earn the most cash back without having to pay interest on it. 2. Take advantage of your shopping habits through getting cards. Select a credit card that rewards you regularly for shopping at certain stores. For example, if you shop at Amazon often, you can get Amazon cards that rewards you with 5% cash back. Alternatively, you might prefer Target, Walmart, or Gap, or Casco, which offer loyalty cards. There is a risk that this can need to purchase acceleration, where you spend more to advance in loyalty reward programs. Keep a budget and only spend what you have allocated for each paycheck or month. Avoid carrying a balance on your credit cards or changing your spend habits. 3. Use a variety of cards to maximize your savings. It is possible for a credit card hacker to have up to 20 cards. As a result, they are able to gain a higher level of value, money, and benefits by working the system. Use this Chase Safire Reserve card for hotel travel, travel perks, and no foreign transaction fees. Got it as a welcome bonus a few years ago. You can use the Platinum card by American Express to book travel online, and you'll get 60,000 bonus points when you get the card. A substantial welcome bonus offer of 75,000 Married Bonvoy points is available with the Married Bonvoy Brilliant M American Express card. Cashback of 5% on Amazon and Whole Foods purchases if you use the Amazon Prime Rewards Signature card. If you make any other purchases that are not covered by the categories above, you can earn flat 1.5% cash back with the Chase Freedom Unlimited card. Use the Chase Inc. Business Cash Credit card for any small business purchases. Despite being more complicated, this method can give you big returns. In order to maximize the benefits and value of these cards, you must monitor your bonus points and review any annual fees to make sure you're making the most of them. Here's a tip for assessing the financial risks of having multiple credit cards. With this strategy, you are likely to be in debt and miss some payments since you have a lot of bills to manage. If you don't have experience managing debt, you shouldn't try this hack. Starting off with one card and working your way up is a good idea. Avoid opening another line of credit if you haven't demonstrated good financial behavior for at least a year. To double the bonus points, you can both apply for the card if you're married. If you're eyeing a credit card with a great sign-up bonus, sign up for the same card with your spouse or significant other so you can both qualify for the bonus points. As an example, both partners can receive up to 50,000 extra points with the Chase Sapphire Preferred Credit Card. 
After spending the necessary amount for the first bonus, one of you can apply for the second bonus offer after spending the amount necessary for the first bonus. The problem with this hack is that it doubles your household's risk of incurring too much debt on your credit cards. Saving money with credit cards. You can save money by using your credit cards. Consider these credit card hacks for money saving. 1. Pay no interest. The rewards you earn don't matter if your monthly interest charges offset the rewards you earn. In order to avoid any future surprises, we recommend recommend paying off your charge in full every month. In this case, you will never be charged interest on your balance. Interest charges only apply after the grace period has ended, which occurs after the closing date of the billing cycle. Having a zero balance at the beginning and end of every billing cycle allows you to take advantage of all the rewards of credit cards without paying the typical fees. 2. You shouldn't pay annual fees unless they're worth it. There are many reward cards with large sign-up bonuses that charge annual fees. Keeping your account open and in good standing requires you to pay this fee each year. It's a waste of money to pay an annual fee for a card you don't use. Every year, you should evaluate your spending and rewards on cards with annual fees. Consider closing a card if you find the fees don't justify the rewards. 3. When traveling for business, don't use your business credit card points or miles. It's interesting to note that if you pay for business trips out of pocket with your credit card, you may be able to deduct your trip expenses. Deductions are not available if you use your miles for the cost of your business trip. Rack up miles on your business card, but use them to fund your personal travels, which aren't tax deductible anyway. Maybe you could use your business card miles to fund a summer vacation this year. 4. Get extra savings by pairing your credit card with a rebate site. You can even get more cash back by using a site like Rakuten. You can get additional rebates when you shop on certain websites by combining this with a rewards credit card. Using the Amazon Prime Rewards signature card, you get 5% back on Amazon and Whole Foods purchases. 2% back on restaurant charges, gas station charges, and drugstore charges, and 1% back on everything else. How to get the most out of your credit cards? You might find that credit cards can make your trips a bit less stressful and a little more comfortable if you are looking for more perks or travel frequently. 1. Get free TSA PreCheck or Global Entry with your credit card. A credit card that enables free TSA PreCheck or Global Entry would be ideal if you are a frequent traveler. You can receive reimbursements for these perks through several rewards credit cards. 2. You can access airport lounges with your credit card. The Benefits of lounges include free food, drinks, and Wi-Fi along with comfortable seating, nice bathrooms, and sometimes showers or other services, so anyone who travels a lot or frequently has collections will find them convenient. While some cards have higher annual fees than others, they do provide access to airport lounges, such as Chase Sapphire Reserve and Platinum Cards from American Express. Protecting your identity with credit cards People reported over 133,000 instances of credit card fraud to the FTC, complaining about their information being misused on existing accounts or for opening unauthorized ones. To protect your identity, you can use the following tools offered by your credit card issuer. 1. Whenever you make a major purchase, set up alerts and monitor them. It is possible to monitor and receive alerts for purchases made with your credit card that aren't your own by setting up various alerts and monitoring systems. If someone makes a purchase on your card that you don't recognize, Amex offers various purchase alerts so you can stay on top of your balance and monitor your card usage. As an additional feature, Amex app users can enable push notifications to be immediately notified when suspicious charges are detected. For Chase card holders, email or SMS alerts can be set up to notify them when purchases exceed a certain amount. You will also be notified if there is a suspicious charge. Make sure you don't get ripped off by credit card hackers. Whether you're looking for more points with bonus offers or more cash back, paying off your monthly spending is essential. As a result of what you can earn on reward credit cards, many of them have higher interest rates or APRs. In this way, rewards can be quickly wiped out by interest charges. Take advantage of sign-up bonuses without going into debt. No matter what your credit card goals are, keep your credit utilization low and pay your credit cards on time. It is important to avoid late payments. Your credit score can be negatively affected by them not only because they come with fees, but also because they can undo all your hard work to improve your credit. Credit scores can be negatively affected by late payments on credit reports for up to seven years. In addition, if you find yourself in debt with credit cards, you should take immediate action to pay them off. Rather than hacking, focus on debt repayment. Okay guys, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed today's video, please drop a like button, subscribe to my channel for more financial topics.
I will see you soon.